Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let me show you a problem I found when I moved into this house. Here is a two-pronged outlet, no ground, and it actually has a bathroom light attached to the circuit. And it's basically just an accident waiting to happen. Here is the bathroom switches. We've got two switches. The black one is actually solar power. That one's really cool. So that's direct DC. But this one is the switch that controls the light in the bathroom. And it's connected to that outlet, that receptacle that I just showed you. And although it works fine, when I had this inspected, the inspector said, nope, this won't pass. The DC works really fine. When we turn that on, it actually turns on recessed lighting in the ceiling. And it works so good. And you know, with the cost of power these days, that little bit of savings on the lights, it really adds up over a year. I mean, we're talking $80 a year in savings. But we need to fix this switch, which is controlled by the outlet on the outside. So what we need is a GFI switch. And it's important to understand the load and the line. And you can see from this short drawing, we've got power coming in from the breakers and then it goes out to the outlets. That's very important. This is where I have seen so many videos explaining this, but still when the YouTube homeowner DIYer hooks it up, they still get it wrong. And I actually did the same thing. As you watch this video, see if you can find my mistake. So before I click that fuse off, you can see I've got it plugged in. There's the power coming in. This is a non-grounded outlet. I'm going to leave this on and leave it right here. And we'll go turn off that breaker. Okay, you can see the power is off. We can unplug that. And the first thing we're going to do is take off this plate cover. Next, we're going to go ahead and undo these two bolts that secure it. Let's take a look in here. So it looks like they actually do have a ground wire, but they never hooked it up. <laughs> Let's disconnect this neutral. Loosen these up. Everything else is wired correctly, but there's just no ground on this. Now we can pull off the neutral on both pieces. Do the same thing on the hot wire. Okay, here's the old receptacle. Let's put a new GFCI outlet here and get this in proper. So we're going to put in a new GFCI because this will protect the light in the bathroom because it is a moist area. This is really the best way to go and prevent future accidents from happening. The first thing I'm going to do is create the pigtail for the ground. And then we'll go ahead and hook up that ground wire. Got a good pigtail going in. So that's good and secure. And 
This one has push pins and it, it's actually perfect. I'm going to open these back up. Let's go ahead and do the neutral side here. And they just push right into these slots. Once you have them down in there, then you just tighten up the screw. Same thing on the hot wire. Push it right down in. Ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and push all this back into the box. The big controversy is, you know, should the ground wire, ground plug be up or down? I like to keep it. I'm going to turn mine down and let's get it all back into the box. There we go. Can do the top or the bottom first. It doesn't really matter. An open plate to snap over top of it. And there you have it. So we'll go ahead and put our tester in here. We'll go turn on the power and it should light up both these lights right here. So the mistake made was that the line and the load are mismatched. And you can see it every time I try to reset that breaker, it's not going to work. Even without the plug in there, it just won't work. So the mistake was that even though there was a wire coming up from the bottom of this box, I assumed that was the line and it was not. So when I hooked them up, of course, it was not going to work. The GFI just will not work. Has to be line coming in, load coming out. So let's take this apart one more time and You'll see, if you look carefully, remember, the line means that's power coming in from the breaker, and the load is what the GFCI is actually protecting, whether it be another outlet, or in this case, it's actually a light switch and the light bulb itself, because it's in a moist area. But I'm going to enlarge this. I'll put a piece of tape around the line wires and it'll make more sense. Just watch. So if you look carefully, you'll notice where the line and the load wires are. Here's a piece of tape marking the line. This is where it's coming from the breaker. And you'll see how I've brought those together. See how they're coming into the line side? And then we've got the load side coming out. So the line side is marked with the white piece of tape. I put the two wires together so you can see it. And the load is going to the light switch. You see that? Now it'll work properly. And we're going to go ahead and test this. Turn it on at the breaker so we can see it work. So as soon as I reset the trip, you can see the light came on 
and power in the bathroom light as well. Okay, power went off. Let's go ahead and bend this stuff back into the box. All right, let's go ahead and put our tester in. We'll put it in the top one. Let's go turn on the power. Perfect. Let's see if the light switch works. So here's the switch that's controlled from that uh, receptacle that we just fixed. You can see the light kicked on. And there's the light. Wonderful. DC lighting, <laughs> recessed, that's all solar power. Look at that, you can't beat that.